what's up tribe how you guys doing so this is gonna be your quick recap of big brother tonight um the veto so this is the second veto competition and so we pick up at the end of the nomination and let me be clear i i've heard some things y'all told me some things but listen clearly clearly memphis's um veto speech was edited because the, the reaction of the other people in the house to what Memphis said did not match what they showed us. And I've heard that Memphis's speech was brutal. And that even the producers had to call Memphis in and be like, yo, you want to clean that up a little bit? Because that was a lie. When you have Danielle and Tyler saying, listen, I'm not cool with that. I ain't cool with the way he's talking to people. I'm not cool with how he's playing the game. So, um, again, you don't have to be a rocket scientist to know that Memphis's speech was extra and over the top. Um, you could see that David was very upset and emotional. Nicole don't count, but you could see because there's there are tears of anger and then there are tears of sadness. David was pissed. Those were tears of I want to punch you in your face right now. So I, I, I've heard some things about what Memphis may or may not have said. Um, but but anyway, so let's let's move on. So what it seems like is going on here is Memphis doesn't understand how to play with an alliance. Now again, I know that in his season, which was however many years ago, they did alliances and all of that. However, comma, I think that Memphis feels like An alliance is do what I say because I'm head of household. I don't think he understands that the way the game has evolved is that the head of household, even though they, they lead it, the alliance does have a say in what happens and that you listen to your alliance. Memphis thing is, I'm in charge, I'm HOH. Yes, you are my alliance, but you do what I say. You really have no say, so you really have no opinion. And I'm going to do what, the hell, what I want to do and y'all just have to fall in line. Now, Memphis wants to keep Janelle and keep Kason because he said, listen, they're helping me out. They're bringing me information. Why would I throw them out right now? His alliance wants him to get rid of Janelle. And they're like, she's Janelle. We have the numbers. We have a six person alliance. We only need seven votes. I have many votes it is. Like we can get Janelle out the house. That would be like a great blow to do because they said, you know, Janelle is a comp beast. Like you, you can't underestimate what Janelle has done and who she is. And Memphis is not here for it. Like Memphis is just like, I don't want to do that. I don't understand why y'all want to do it. And it's making his alliance really start to second guess him and working with him. So I, I, first of all, it was already a, you know this was already some bull of alliance to begin with, but I definitely don't feel like it's gonna last that long. Now, now we're worrying about the veto, and of course you have everybody, the obvious people who want to you know obviously David wants to win it, Nicole wants to win it, and so we pick for the veto, and it ends up being Ian, Tyler, Nicole F, and then of course the three people Memphis. Nicole A and um, David. So they're playing for the veto. Now, there seems to be something between Janelle and Nicole A. I think when Janelle's in, it's just game. Her thing is, listen, Nicole A's already won. Let's go the hell out of here. She thinks that she's sneaky. She doesn't like her gameplay. And she wants her gone. And so she's putting that in Memphis's head to backdoor Nicole. Well, Memphis goes back to his alliance and tells his alliance that. Here's the thing. If you're not going to do anything about it, why tell them? Like, why tell them and get them all worked up and then say, but I'm not going to do anything about it when you have the power? So that's all the more reason why his alliance is like, okay, well, if you have Janelle who's already saying that she wants to backdoor Nicole A, who is in your alliance, the likelihood that if she were to win head of household next week or somebody she's aligned with when HOH next week, Nicole is probably going to go on the block and that's somebody that's in your alliance. So why wouldn't you do a preemptive strike 
on top of the fact that she's Janelle. Like, it, it's a no-brainer to them. And they have the numbers. Like, it'd be different if they didn't have the numbers. They have the damn numbers. So, because you have six votes. If you need seven, I'm not sure if that. I think last week they needed seven, so this week I guess they need six. But even if you still need seven, you've got a six-person damn alliance. And you make a deal with the person you take off the block, you need to vote for who we put up as the replacement. Duh. There's your seven. Anyway. So... Nicole A is obviously doing what Nicole A does. Now she's all paranoid and worried about being backdoored. And she doesn't trust Memphis either. Because, of course, because, again, Memphis isn't being definitive in what it is that he's saying. So we get... So Ian has his punishment. I don't care. Like, his punishment, because he was the plus one, is that he has to act out scenes from Big Brother All Star Wars All Stars, whatever. It's yeah, no, this is a little silly competition, and of course it includes everybody. So, like Janelle said, it's Ian's punishment that includes everybody because it did. I mean, he had to wake up at all hours of the night. Sometimes he had to bring people in to act the scenes with him. Like it was not just a one person deal. But anyway, it was what it was. It was cute. It is what it is. Well, that one wasn't so cute as much as it was annoying. But whatever. So we get to the veto competition, and the veto competition is some old competition where they gotta keep the ball balanced on this thingy, my Bob, while they're standing on another thingy, my Bob. Whatever. Nicole F gets eliminated, damn near immediately. Like immediately. Like I don't even know if the whistle got done before her ball fell. Like I don't. I don't know. Then, um. I don't know the order, but, you know, slowly but surely, everybody gets eliminated until it's down to Tyler, um, Memphis, and David. Now, Tyler's thing is, I want to win because I really do want to take David off the block and let Memphis figure out who he's going to put up as a replacement because I think it's really screwed up how he's treating David. Like, Tyler was playing to win. Like, he wasn't bullshit. He was playing to win. Obviously, David wants to win. Obviously, Memphis wants to win. So, it gets down to the three of them, and David's dumbass. Like, he was focused, and he was doing really well. Although, you know, it's one of those things where... But he said he wanted to, to go see... He just wanted to take a quick glance over at what Memphis was doing. What did you think Memphis was doing? Like, all of y'all were standing there holding the ball together. What did you want to see if he was shaking? Did you want to see if he was looking like he was weak? Does it matter? You better focus on what's in front of you. Worry about the, the rest later. You can catch it in the replay. Like, I was like, boy... And, of course, the minute he went to go take a look... Curiosity killed the cat. I mean, come on. Tyler just ran out of steam. He just ran out of steam. So Memphis ends up winning the veto. And of course, so, and, and the re, you know, they tried to get in his head again about backdooring Janelle. And of course, he was playing with well, I'm the HOH. And, you know, how dare they come in here and try to tell me what I need to do? I'm the HOH. I do what I want to do. Yes, they're my alliance, but they just need to fall into place. Then it seemed like maybe he started figuring out the, the, that there was a certain climate in the house. Because then he started talking about, well, I mean, I do have to kind of take my alliance, their feelings into consideration, what it is they want to do. I do have to sort of take that into consideration. Um, and I was like, uh-huh, yeah, some people done got in your head and some things done got back to you. You can calm down just a little bit. Just a little bit. But ultimately... We get to the veto ceremony, and honestly, it was anticlimactic. He didn't choose the veto. I mean, he didn't choose to use it um, on anybody. He kept nominations the same. Um, and it's just going to come down to votes because his alliance, they don't trust him, and they, they're not with him. So it's not like in the past where in the HOH said, okay, well, I have David and Nicole on the block, but I really want David gone. And the alliance just automatically voted that way. I'm not sure that that's how this is going to happen. I don't know. I mean, you never know what's going on in the politics and in all that that's going on. But the way this was left is very, very interesting. Very, very interesting. So anyway, we'll see what it is. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Drop it in those comments, please.